Sunday. So there's this very important channeled message from spirit on behalf of the collective and particularly the Blu-ray souls, the earth angels and the crystals. Humanity is accessing a change of consciousness approximately throughout February and March of 2023. But I will say this powerful information if you are finding this message at any time then I would say your soul is either beginning this or you're about to embark on this super conscious exercise which is where souls are choosing to rip up karmic contracts souls are choosing to rip up to destroy to get rid of soul contracts especially with people that you have karmic ties to soul ties to karmic relationships karmic marriages karmic friendships specifically this message is about love relationships across all genders across all sexual orientations this is about soulmates or soul ties karmic connections humanity is deciding that the time is now to rip up the contract whoever you have that contract with and it might be multiple people that you do this exercise with now some of you are doing this super consciously in your meditation or when you're asleep at night and your soul travels you're doing it like cosmically when the body goes back to source and you're safe in the non-physical you're meeting up in the non-physical with that other soul that you have the tie to or the karmic connection and you're showing them the contract that you made prior to your incarnation and you're ripping it up and saying this is obsolete now this contract is complete i am no longer tied to you and you are no longer tied to me we're both free go in peace farewell and goodbye and some of you are doing this consciously you've decided you've chosen you've made the conscious decision that you are no longer willing to play the dance or the games or the interactions between that soul tie between that other soul that other person whether you came to this conclusion because you realize it's unhealthy or dysfunctional or whether you came to this conclusion purely because you just felt a prompt from your spirit guides from your angels it's a very powerful exercise to engage in so I about a week ago I, I just got the clear direction to start doing this and the first one I did was scary because it's somebody who is a soulmate, it's somebody I love with all my being, but I can no longer engage in any karmic activities or I don't want any relationship based on that karmic contract. So when you and someone else have a karmic tie it's unresolved issues it's unresolved energy and conflict and from previous timelines and incarnations 
And when you gather in the non-physical between lifetimes, you and this other soul, like we get together with different souls that are from our soul tree, our soul tribe, and we can discuss and decide how we're going to clear up those things. Now, it's all agreement, okay? It From, from the soul, from the non-physical spiritual perspective, it's all agreement. So even though down here on planet Earth with the human emotions, it can feel like you're the victim or that person betrayed you. You have to rise above that and do your best to heal and understand that in the non-physical, that you're playing out a role for each other so that you'll grow, so that you'll develop and evolve. And sometimes a big, big dramatic breakup in our lives that causes us to have a breakdown leads to a breakthrough. So it could be the push that you needed to finally develop self-respect or self-love or perhaps that person didn't love aspects of you but they were mirroring that you had a deep resentment or dislike of those parts in yourself. So the breakdown of that relationship has pushed you to embrace those parts of yourself and learn to love them so that in your next loving relationship you are fully embraced and loved for everything that you authentically are. So this is how these roles, these agreements can play out. And like I said, we come down here, we put on the cloak of ego and the blinkers so we can't remember, we're not supposed to because we wouldn't play the game if we could remember. We wouldn't engage fully. If we knew meeting this person is going to turn my life upside down, cause me to love unconditionally, and then I'll have to go deeper into my self-love journey when they walk away or when I decide to leave because it's too much conflict you wouldn't fully invest right you're not going to give your all to something if you know it has the capacity to cause you great pain so it doesn't mean that the relationship wasn't meant to be in fact the relationship was divinely meant to be just so you'd have that specific outcome of mastering more self-love or perhaps in the breakup of that you had to develop more resilience or independence or maybe it pushed you to open up a cupcake shop, shop on the corner of your street. You know, there's endless possibilities to why we engage in these agreements but the core of it usually is for our own benefit and it's about love and it's about growth and it's about expansion so humanity at this time especially as we go into february there's a lot of romantic energies the romance angels are very busy we're going into this rebirth energy saint brigid or the goddess brigid energy the divine feminine um we are tearing up these contracts on a mass scale so you're going to hear and you're going to see of lots of people changing their relationship dynamics and getting really clear and honest about how they want their love life to be to to actually look to to be on a daily basis and there's going to be a a self-love inner awakening attached to the tearing up of these karmic or soul contracts been a long day it's pretty late and I hope that this is translating clearly for you 
because if you're feeling the resonance of this energy of this message then it most likely is for you can you consciously do this is there an ex from your past that you know is toxic for you yes you can of course and i can show you how to do that you basically you place yourself in a pink bubble of light and you put gold outside for protection and you place the other person in the same you call in um archangel raguel or whoever your spirit guides are okay raguel is very connected to relationships and you you have the contract you can see it in the non-physical you have this spiritual contract that was designed and made prior to this incarnation and if you choose to you say to the person i love you this is what i've learned this is what i've gained from our experience you know i i have a deeper understanding of love and relationships now whatever you get off your chest whatever you need to get off it's similar to a cord cutting but you're actually telling the universe and you're telling spirit i'm no longer willing to play out the duties and the the agreement in this contract so it's kind of like you took on a job role and you love the job at first and then after a while you realize the job was demanding way more of you than you were willing to give it was exhausting it was it was actually affecting your health right your mental health your physical health because the job just became too much for the human you to cope with and perhaps it was eating into your joy of life you you would go to your boss and you'd say you know that contract i signed at the beginning when you took me on well i need to either renegotiate the terms or i need to destroy that contract because this is just too much it's too demanding i want to quit my job i want to move on and find a better happier job that doesn't leave me drained so it's the it's it's very similar and you're you're saying that to the universe when you do this consciously you're saying look i've gotten the juice out of this contract i've i've given it the best i have but as a human being i have like my resources are only so much and i'm also part of a system of nature so i have timelines with things and i have my body is connected to that that system of nature so it's time for me to to follow that natural evolution of my human life and i need to redirect my energy now so it's all flexible you know we're not stuck into contracts it's not like the soul said you sign the contract you know it's like a job right really <laughs> you can't be forced to do a job you hate if you really hate a job you can get out of that job you can break the contract and if you're in a karmic relationship with someone where it's just no one's growing anymore and you're hurting each other or it's causing you anxiety you have the right to say i want to i want to opt out of this So you see yourself ripping up the contract, you see yourself destroying it. Um you could even see yourself dropping it into a a sacred fire, you know, and see it being burnt away. That just came to me now, so that might be useful. And you wish them well. And you also release them from the contract. That's really important that it's not just a one-way street that that contract was signed by both of you. And you're saying to that soul, you are free also. we don't have to keep bouncing around here together because you know you can see it in some marriages you can see it in some relationships it can go on for 30 years i've seen this with clients and i had a client one time and he said i can't live with her and i can't live without her and i said well that leaves you in limbo that leaves you in a really 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 dodgy place kind of nowhere actually because by buying into that belief 
you're upholding a contract because beliefs are contracts, you know, and decisions and choices are contracts energetically, but you have the right to change your mind. You have the right to say to spirit, this is too much. I need to renegotiate the terms. I mean, I renegotiated contracts with spirit several times. Sometimes you just, ha it has to be done. And like I said, it's like going to your employer and saying, look, these hours aren't working for me or, you know, this, this, and this section of the contract isn't going to jive with the person I've, I've changed. The person I've become now is a different person and I'm not happy with that. I have different values or different ethics about things. So, you know, when we're in the non-physical, we get very excited to volunteer to come down to earth and to have another lifetime. But we can often sign up to contracts that are very tough because we love soul growth, we love soul expansion. And <clears throat> in the non-physical, we can overburden ourselves and overwhelm ourselves taking on these extra roles because we think we think we forget we actually forget how dense and how heavy matter is and how taking on a meat suit is whew, it's a lot of work one thing you'll notice when you go back to the non-physical is how heavy your body is just a healthy body like and and never mind carrying around a load of extra entities depression anxieties you know um then there's physical ailments and physical dysfunctions and things like that so don't forget you can go back to spirit and say this is too heavy this is too much um i would like a better situation here i would i'd like to release this and make space in my energy so that i can welcome in something that's a better fit and that's a better match so on behalf of you my viewer sofa friend i'm shuffling these guardian angel messages tarot by radley valentine illustrations by dan craig to see a little ending message with this video but it's just gonna be it's gonna be very interesting you're gonna see this with your friends your family your your colleagues you're gonna see people saying nah i had to walk away from that one or that wasn't going to work or I don't know I just something came over me and I packed up and left that's you know that's a soul deciding this contract has to has to end okay yeah <clears throat> perfect okay three is the magic number Number 11, 11, 11, the angels. We got the infinity symbol there, which is twin flame energy, but this is the strength card, okay, in the tarot. So you have the strength, you have the strength to walk away from something that is no longer bringing you balance, joy, harmony, peace. Remember, if something is for you, your heart will feel at peace. If there's chaos, if there's drama, it's a sign that something's out of alignment and something's unhealthy and you have a right to, to remove yourself from that. So courage, compassion, perseverance. She actually looks like the goddess Bridget, very much so, which is an Irish goddess later taken by the Christians and called Saint Bridget with her lovely Celtic red hair and then we have the lion there as well. So you have the strength to cut to, to cut the cord and break up the contract. And then we got the Knight of Earth. So this will lead to being more organized, more responsible, more supportive. It's about you actually loving yourself. It's about, like there's great power if you tear up the contract and put yourself first. Like that's part of the deal that if I walk away from this, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do me. I'm going to make sure I'm okay. I'm going to really get deep into self-love and self-compassion and healing. So 
you can see there she's in a beautiful garden she's got a big coin she's got that sign of abundance and it looks like she's even though she's a little bit shook she looks a little bit you know maybe you'll be a little bit like I was when I did the first one which I've done this in the past but I haven't done it for a long time I was a bit shook because I could feel it I could feel the visceral tangible shift in me and true to nature and this happens when I cut cords as well I got a call from that person within oh, within about an hour and a half two hours of doing of, of, of saying this contract has to has to end for my own peace of mind you know for my own sanity so don't be surprised if that person reaches out to you after you do that exercise because they feel it their soul knows this actually happened so when you do this it leads to zero point which is the very first tarot card in the deck so the dreamer also known as the fool but the dreamer or the fool is like the innocence of starting a new journey it's numbers it's zero like you're at zero point again so by doing this you are clean slate <clears throat> no longer no longer at the mercy of being a rag doll back and forward and it says new beginning believing protected and there's an angel little child chasing after the butterfly and the angel is there protecting and making sure that this new fresh innocence is being looked after so I think that's perfect how they came out like 11 you got the strength then the night of earth this will lead to you being more organized more responsible supportive you're supporting yourself and you'll probably draw in more you will draw in more spiritual angelic support and then the dreamer saying this is a new beginning you're believing in yourself again and you are protected as you do so so remember you have free will you're not bound to any particular contract you have a right to renegotiate or to say, no, this is not for me anymore. I've learned all the lessons I can learn. I feel like I've given all the love I can give. I need to give to myself now and focus on that. I hope this message was beneficial for you. It was so strong with me all day and I was meeting friends earlier or yeah and I just didn't I didn't I did another I recorded another video and I didn't get the chance to this the other video was very connected to that that this message as well I'll try and put them up one after the other I'm actually wearing this jumper so or maybe I'll say a part two but you'll know that they're connected and they're about relationships and specifically romantic relationships because there is a big energetic shift happening in February around commitments and partnership dynamics so look out for that i wish you all a grand rising or a grand good night for me it's bedtime bye bye god bless oh if you enjoy this i appreciate your thumbs up it means a lot to me bye bye